Our city, our schools. Our schools. Our city, our schools. Our schools. Our cities, our school. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. My name is Lisa Haber. I'm here along with the other members of the Alliance for Philadelphia Public Schools. We're joined by our city, our schools, neighborhood network, uh, the We Caucus, anybody else? Parents United. Uh, we're out here to say no more school closures. Alliance from Philadelphia Public Schools comes to every single SRC meeting, so we're well aware of what's going on. Dr. Height, the superintendent, has said that he wants to close three schools a year over the next five years. You know they're going to be in highly distressed neighborhoods, that's the neighborhoods that he picks. Um, so what we're doing is we're having a vigil today, it's called the Requiem for Philly Closed Schools, to honor the 29 schools that have been closed since 2011. Um, if you remember, in 2012, Boston Consulting Group was hired to develop a plan for the next five years for the school district. Part of that plan was to close 88 schools. Well, the district and the SRC are well on their way to doing that. When you close schools in neighborhoods, you not only traumatize the students, parents, families, community members, but you also impact the neighborhood. It, it destabilizes the neighborhoods. These buildings are left eight empty. They're taken, many of them, or some of them, like the Smith School, have been taken out of the public control and put into private hands. I'm going to start by saying there will be a price to pay. Yes. Yes. Anytime that you starve a district of funds and kill public schools at the price of children, you will pay. Every time you allow charters to come into our community and take over and eliminate public education from children, you will pay. The SRC has came into our district, has been appointed by the governor and the mayor to come and destroy neighborhoods and communities. And we will not continue to sit back and let that happen. We have to continue this fight. It's been a long, hard fight. When we have 16 years, 17 years, 17 years of death and destruction of public education. And we're still here saying we want the SRC to abolish themselves. Yes! We want them yes! To eliminate this nonsense. Yes! We need an elected school board so we, the people, can work for the common good to be sure our kids are educated the way we decide for them to be educated. We need sound curriculum that deals with adversity. It deals with trauma. We need restorative justice. All these things are things that an elected school board that is accountable to the people. Accountable to the people of Philadelphia can stand and fight for. And if we don't stand behind these groups that are standing up saying enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. All of these represent a death of a community. Yes. Each one of these tombstones represent a neighborhood school that either led to blight in the community, destruction of a community, or just eliminating of the cornerstone of education in our communities. Yes. And we have to begin to listen and continue to fight because we're asking today that the SRC agree to our timeline to abolish themselves. Yes! Yes! So, on top, we talk about the death of these schools, but one of the things we didn't touch on is also all these renaissance charter, another two or three schools to be announced for closure, or renaissance, or whatever they're gonna do. Where's the conversation with the community about quality education at your neighborhood school that is convenient for you. We have to continue to keep a close eye up on our SRC. These ladies from ABS are on it. Are on it. So if you're not familiar with these women from ABS, I implore you to please follow this information because they are destroying us. Do you realize when every school is closed and every neighborhood is destroyed, we're killing a community. And until we stand up and fight, we will continue to see death and destruction in our city. Yes. Yes. What are you going to do?
mentality, mentality, mentality there are there are mentalities, different mentalities, but just like just there's like different there's different ways to teach people how to read. There's, 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 there's different ways to communicate people. There's different ways. There's different ways to communicate people and their different mentalities. So I do so I do see hope. I see hope, and that's all coming together and understanding each other and learning to respect 